Hey guys, have you seen um, Tiger King on Netflix yet? No, I haven't yet. I am. Um, it's it's on the way, but yeah. not yet. Uh, what do you think, Jordan and Lily? Yeah, it's a great watch. If you've got some time over isolation, give it a go. I'm teeing Carol Baskin all the way. Hey, hey, happy Friday and welcome to BYO, Bracco Youth Online. It is great to have you joining us. Uh, we're going to have a really fun, action-packed night together. But first off, before we get there, my name's Dave and I'm going to be your host tonight. And I am joined by some absolutely fantastic, fantastic, fantastic co-hosts. I had to say that three times, okay? First off, we've got Deanna. What's up? <laughs> And over here, we've got Jordan. Hey guys, hope you're all doing amazing. And way over there, nicely, appropriately socially distanced, and then some, we've got Lily. Hey guys, stay classy, Brackenridge. Stay classy, mm. Brackenridge. I love it. Guys, welcome to BYO. Great to have you with us. Excited for tonight? Yeah, good cool. to be yeah, here. Yeah, fantastic. Hey, our days look pretty, our days and our weeks, they look pretty different at the moment, right? For all of us. And I thought it'd be great to know in two words from each of you, if you had to describe the week that you've had, how would you do that in two words? Deanna. Um, I would say, you know, unshamingly, Star Wars. Love it. Star Live Wars. It. A week of Star Wars. Don't regret. <laughs> Fantastic. Love it. Jordan, what would you say? Dave, I've got to admit I've been busy. Yep. My two words are essential and work. Nice, essential and work. I love it. And Lily? I have also been busy. My two words are online shopping. Online <laughs> shopping, super busy. You could almost <laughs> class that in with essential yes, work. Yes, essential quite work. Quite possibly, perhaps. Yep, from home. Hey guys, we're gonna have some great times tonight. Um, I wanna remind you straight away, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done that already. And then over in the sidebar, there will be an option for you guys to type in, uh, get on those keyboards and comment away. I wanna encourage you as the show goes along, start commenting, keep it, keep it nice and lively in the chat room. Let's, uh, let's keep the discussion going. Um, well, we are not the only people who want to say hi to you guys, okay? Because there's a whole bunch of other people who would love to say a little hello and catch up with you as well. This is Quarantine Catch Ups. Hey everyone, Eamon here. That's right, now you know my name and how to say it, so no excuses. Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to give a shout out to my fellow introvert friends. Um, say to you guys, make sure you check on your on your extrovert friends uh, because they are not okay. They do not know how, they have no idea how this isolation stuff works. So uh, you might have to help them out there. Stay safe guys. Hey guys. Your boy Cam, pumped for BYO. Hey guys, it's Dan here. I hope you guys are doing really well in this uh, awkward time of isolation. So basically, I wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of an insight into what I've been doing. I've been starting to learn the acoustic guitar, doing a lot of reading, and just doing more exercise. I think that if you put half an hour into each day, you know, do the math, after two weeks, you will have done about 14 hours worth of activities. You start getting better at these things and that becomes a habit and that's what we really need to do during this time I believe is form really positive uh, habits. So that's my piece of advice is pick up some of these things yourself and make sure you stay active. Distract yourself with studies and before you know it this thing will be over. Really looking forward to seeing you guys all back at church and um, have a good uh, rest, of your, rest of your week. Hey you! How you going? Hope you're all well and safe at home. Um, yeah, we're all thinking of you and praying for you guys. Um, just wanted to encourage you to make the most of this time, spend time with family, um, and maybe learn something that you've always wanted to learn. I have learned the, well, one song on the piano, so we're, we're to that. Um, but yeah, just stay close to God. He will be your peace and comfort during this time. Um, but yeah, really keen to see you all again, so, we will have a massive party then and can't wait till then. But yeah, see you then. Ciao. Hi everyone, hope you're going well. A virtual hello to you all. 
Hello, youth. Um, it's me, Pasco. I'm here in isolation. And one thing you guys could be doing in this time is dyeing your hair awful colors yeah. and playing Fortnite. Welcome back to term two, our first ever Bracco Youth Online. Hope you're all excited because Dave's put a lot of hard work in the last couple of weeks and we've got some great content rolling out in the weeks to come. So stay tuned, stay connected as we journey through the season together. I am Matt, I'm one of your amazing leaders who'll be walking with you through this term. I hope you've all had an amazing holiday and I know you couldn't do those things you wanted to do, but I hope you were able to take some time and reflect on those things we took for granted when we had it. Personally, I myself, I've continued working and I'm busier than ever at the moment, but I can't say that for everyone else. A lot of people have lost their jobs and are struggling financially, physically and mentally. And as believers, I believe we should keep them in our daily prayers. We should ask God for strength and guidance to get us through this time. Times like these is where our faith gets challenged. And these are the times we need to lean into God, we need to lean into His Word, and we need to spend time with Him, and no greater time to be spent with Him right now. So grow your faith with Him, spend your time with Him, and get a better understanding of just how amazing He is. So as we journey through this time together, I ask you guys to stay tuned, stay connected. As I said, Dave's got some amazing content rolling out in these next couple of weeks. I'll see you guys around. All right, now it is time for yay or nay. Super excited about this, guys, okay? Yes. Yay or nay, this is where we talk about an item that each person brings along, and we say whether it is a yay or a nay. Now, for you guys playing along at home, the way we are gonna do this is if you think the item that these guys are presenting or showing us is a yay, I want you to use a flame emoji, okay? Type in a flame emoji or type in yay on the screen, okay? If you think it's a nay, then you need to find the little emoji of the person going like this, okay? Or a nay, okay? So yay or nay, and this week, I've asked all three of these guys to bring one item along from their home. It had to be from their home. Couldn't be too big, had to be from their home. And you guys have to convince us that it's a yay and it's not a nay, okay? So, Deanna, we're gonna start with you. Okay. What is your item for this week? Well, first I'd like to say I don't need to convince you at all because it's clearly gonna be a yay. But okay. here I have got a little gift from my cousin. She's seven, so if you say nay, then you hate seven-year-olds. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, <laughs> so it has my name on it. She took about, you know, 15 minutes to make it. You know, my, my name right there. Look at that. And I even had to show her how to spell it. It has a beautiful little pink flower, because my last name's Pink. And she just took, you know, her absolute time making this. So it's very sentimental towards me. And so, yeah, if, it's a, if you say that it's a nay, then that just means that you hate seven-year-olds. And that's all I can say about you. <laughs> so it's clearly a yay, no if or and or but. It's clearly a yay, but I reckon to fully sell that yay to us, you need to at least put it on Oh, now. okay. Yeah, can you just fit it on? And model it for us. There. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, what do we think? Is that a yay or a nay? Mm. Yep. I think, I think we're rolling, or we're yep. siding with yay there, right? Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Awesome. That's great. Thanks, Deanna, for sharing that with us. Okay, Jordan, what have you brought from home that you're going to share with us? All right, Deanna's bracelet is pretty, don't get me wrong, but I present to you the future of fashion. The future of fashion. Okay, guys, I'm a little bit concerned. What do you guys think he is currently doing we we think it's something he's getting dressed in um. or wearing right what do you think type it in in the sidebar if you can guess what jordan is talking about the future of fashion this could be okay wow. ladies okay. and gentlemen is this not the best piece of clothing you've ever seen this works in so many ways weddings <laughs> funerals whatever it may be funerals this well. is where you wear it this is what you wear this is vintage. It has been sitting up in my cupboard for seven years. And I tell you what, vintage is in. The 70s, take a seat. This is fashion. 
Wow, you know how you said that it's for funerals? Yeah, I wouldn't be caught dead in that, Jordan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, what do you guys think? Is it a yay or is it a nay? I mean, look at that banana. Is it ripe for the picking, so to speak? Or is it just a complete r rotten piece of fruit? Yay or nay? What do we think, guys? Oh, nay. 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 No. Nothing can nay. outdo this. Uh, I think we're going to have to play sad music there, Jordan. But hey, I want you to stay in that. Yeah. Stay in that just for now, hey? We just... <laughs> it's a good look. We just want to just appreciate that. Can you just do one more spin for us there? Oh, for sure. Thanks. It leaves I also... Here. You maybe have a... You <laughs> may be asking yourself... You may be asking yourself, does it work with other accessories? The answer to that is yes. Oh. This banana suit comes with a special hood allowing you to show off all your Legionnaires hats. This one I'm wor working right now says my mum thinks I'm cool. And I tell you what, I think I'm cool too. <laughs> <laughs> then why didn't you show us that before? Because it's just, it's just part of the outfit now. It's just showing off how useful this banana costume is. It works anywhere, and I mean anywhere. Look at this, now I'm wearing a hat. I can go to the park, I can go to the beach, anywhere I please. Okay, yay or nay, guys. I think the hat might be getting some of you on board with a potential yay there, right? I mean, Legionnaire's hat, it serves a lot of purpose. Sun safe? So good. Thanks, Jordan, for sharing with us. Lily, what have you brought from home that um, you're going to share with us this week? I think, I think you're going to struggle to say nay to this. Okay. I think you're really going to like it. Let's do some guessing. What is Lily going to bring along? It's my baby. Oh. <laughs> I brought him along. This is Chino. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's the love of my life. It keeps me up all the time. It's a baby. What is the best thing about Chino? Best thing about Chino? Here's my shadow. Literally follows me around everywhere. I love it. <laughs> nah, best for isolation because you're never lonely. Look and also look at him. Is. Look at him. Look at those do puppy dog eyes. Look at him. You can literally say that, can't you? Hello. He's got his thumbs down. Come on. He's got nothing on a banana suit. Oh, <laughs> Jordan. He will wee all over your banana suit. <laughs> How cute is he? Actually, before you sit down, wh uh. why don't we just get one quick shot of him sitting on the stool? Will oh. Stay oh, my goodness. Look at this Co guy. Co-host Chino Harris. Co-host. Sit, sit, baby. You're right. Yeah. There you go. What do we think, guys? <laughs> Yay. Or nay, come Lily on. Lily turned into a dog. <laughs> that is so good. Yay or Can we nay. get him a stool? While he is just sitting right there, we're going to finish this time. Hey, thanks for playing yay or nay, guys. That has been a whole bunch of fun. We've been watching some videos uh, for Youth Alpha lately. We've got a couple of weeks worth of videos I've been working through. These are exploring some of the bigger questions about life and God. And there's some links in the show notes below um, so you can catch up on some of those previous weeks if you want to. This week, we are talking about this word faith. What does it mean to have faith? Now, I want to start with a picture that you're going to see from 15 years ago, guys. This is when I got married, one of the happiest days of my life, okay? There's a photo of me, look at that, I look great, maybe not so great. Now, the reason why I don't look so great and I've chosen this picture deliberately is because I wore a suit that was two sizes too big for me and the hairstyle, you can kind of make out what, my, what I'm rocking there, it's not the most popular do by 2020 standards, okay? So I've deliberately kind of chosen this picture. But this was a really happy, awesome day for me. Now, if you were to come along and you looked at that photo and then you said to me, well, I want you to prove, Dave, to me that you're, ma that you're married. If you ask me to prove that, well, I'd be able to produce a document. I'd be able to give you or show you a piece of paper that actually had my signature on it, Cherie, my wife's signature on it, and all the other legal stuff that actually proves that I am married. Now, similarly, when it comes to this idea of being a Christian, if you were to ask me, what does it mean to be a Christian? I can point to another document, and that is the Bible. See, the Bible says in Romans 8 that nothing can separate us from the love of God. 
And it also tells us a whole bunch of other things and tells all these different stories. Um, but one of the main and the main story is that Jesus died and he was resurrected from the dead. He came back to life and he did this because of his great love for us. You see, Christianity is not about what we do or what we have done. It's about what God has done for us in sending his son, Jesus. Romans 6, 23 says that the wages or the payment of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It's hard to believe in some sense that such a good gift could actually be free, right? I mean, eternal life is free for those who put their faith in Jesus, now, don't hear me wrong here, there's a, there's a huge cost that was involved in this, but the Bible actually says that Jesus was the one who paid this price. He's the one who paid the cost of our sins, so that way we can receive that free gift of eternal life. And this is where I want to talk to you today about just two words, faith and repentance. Because we often hear about this word faith in uh, everyday life. You might have heard about it in movies, um, all over the place. But, but what is faith? Well, here's one definition. Faith is trusting someone or something enough to actually act on that trust, to live it out. So it's living out what it is that you believe in. Repentance, that might seem like a little bit of a scary word and it might sound like a little bit of a big word, but if we look at the way it's been described in Alpha this week, I actually think it's a really good description of repentance. It says that it is a change in thinking that leads to a change in living. And this change actually involves us asking God to forgive us for the things that maybe we've done that weren't th things that were good uh, by Him, uh, and, uh, and to change and turn around and change the way that we live. I want to show you a picture now of this pool on the screen. Now, here's the question, looking in this picture, that I have for you. If this pool represents a relationship with God, which character do you identify with the most? Maybe you're looking at the picture and you're seeing the guy who's checking themselves out in the mirror. Maybe that's the person you identify with or you're the person who's on the side of the pool there just maybe starting to dip your toes in the water a little bit. Or maybe you're on the springboard and you're about ready to dive in and just get fully immersed. Or maybe you feel like that person that's right stuck there in the corner who's just struggling to swim at all. You see, each of us might identify with different characters and, and I reckon that's the thing about relationships, isn't it? They're not all the same. They're often really different. And it's the same thing when you have a relationship with Jesus. It's this personal thing that only you and Jesus have. You can absolutely share in the good things about it with other people. 1 John 3 says, Look at what great love God has for us, that we would be called children of God, that we'd be called children. I've got two children, I, I love them so much. And last weekend, I started this 1,000-piece puzzle, okay? I set it all up on my table, I got the whole border around the outside done, and then I had all my pieces sorted by colour and it was looking so good. It was all ready to go. Um, and I, then I told my kids, I said, before I went to work on Monday, I said, okay, guys, this is all set up. I don't want you to touch the table. My jigsaw is here. You can use that end of the table, but this other half of the table, I want you to leave it alone. Sure enough, what happens? I get home from work. The table is completely messed up, there's pieces of the puzzle on the floor, there's, it's all broken around the edges, the, colorful, the, the colours that were once sorted are no longer sorted. I was very disappointed, but as their father, I love my kids that much that even when they don't listen to me, or even better still, when they break the rules and do the wrong thing, I love them that much that I'm willing to forgive them. There's actually no amount of mistakes that are going to change 
the love that I have for them. And it's the same with God. He loves you so much that no matter what we're like, no matter what's happened in the past, what we've done, where we're at right now, we can come to faith, come to Him in faith and ask Him to forgive us and it says in the Bible that He will do that. Now, if this love of God is something that you want to experience, then you might want to pray this prayer with me as we finish up. If you don't feel comfortable in doing that, that's, that's completely fine. But um, yeah, if this love of God is something you want to experience, I just encourage you now to close your eyes where you are and let's pray together. Father God, we want to thank you that it says in your word that you died for us. You sent your son and he died and he rose again. So that way we might be able to receive the free gift of eternal life in you. God, we ask for that forgiveness for those who want to put their faith in you and we turn from those ways that we've been following on our own. We turn towards you. We thank you that you forgive us and that you love us and we say now that we put our trust and our faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now it is time for Dream Meme, okay? This is where we put a meme on the screen and you've got to think up the dream. That is, you've got to think up the perfect or a really good caption that goes along with this picture to make it a nice, funny meme, okay? Pretty simple, right? For those of you playing along at home, don't forget to also type in what you think your meme would be as well. Okay. Let's have a look at the first meme on the screen. There it is. Jordan, what have you got? So you're telling me if I eat more bananas, I'll be as tall as Jordan? <laughs> so you're telling me, okay. I like the little tie in there of, with the bananas thing. I mean, it's yeah. true. I'm turning into a yeah. banana, Dave. What can yeah. I say? I I've think... eaten so many bananas. I've grown and now I'm turning into a banana. It's kind of a bad thing, but you know, I'm living with it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that a dream meme? I'll, oh, I'll, give him, uh, I'll give him some points. I wouldn't dream. Poorly. I wouldn't dream about that meme. Wouldn't dream oh. about it. Yeah, the the guy he looks kind of a bit too skeptical. But yeah, anyway, mm. that's good. All right, Lily, what have you got? What is your dream meme? My meme says, when Netflix asks you if you're still watching. When Netflix asks. All right, fantastic. If you're still watching, it's like. Mm, Am I still watching? Come on, Good right? Guys. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the answer is always yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. What do we think? Is that a dream meme? What do you Surely. think? Yeah. It's a dream meme, yeah. Nice, very nice. I, I reckon we're two from two so far. That's pretty good. I, I'll, I'm going to give Jor Jordan his. I don't know about you guys at home, but I'm going to give him that. If I'm wrong, that's okay. Deanna, bring us home. Three for three. <laughs> what is... Your dream meme? Oh, the pressure. My pressure. dream meme is when someone hasn't, when someone tells you they haven't watched Veggie Tales. Like, come on. If someone hasn't watched Veggie Tales, then who are they and why are they in your life? It is a classic. I will give you that, it Deanna. It is a classic. Thank you. Boom. There you go. Dream meme or not, what do you think? I'm for it. <laughs> but yeah. what can I yeah. say? Let's I go. Like We're going to go tales. three for three there, yeah. right there. Three, three for three. three. Dream meme. Yeah. Okay. But I want you guys at home to also, I'm, I'm sure you've been thinking about what a cool meme is or a dream meme is now. So if you are game, there is a link in our notes below. Click on that. You can make your own meme, okay, for this particular picture. You click on that link. It'll take you to the web page. You type in your meme, save the picture, send it to us. We would love to see your answers and they might just get featured on next week's show. But for now, guys, that is Dream Meme. Woo! Love Woo. It. Yeah. Yeah.
It is ISO challenge time. While we're in isolation, we've got a weekly challenge for you guys. Did you know that it is impossible to eat a slice of bread in under a minute? Let's see if that's true, shall we? Go! And we are off and racing in this challenge for the week, the ISO challenge. Jordan's got off to a good start, taking out a good third. Lil's going for the piece by piece technique. And Deanna, well, now she is going for the full, <laughs> the full thing. The full thing? I'm the in full, it to win it, Dave. The whole crust. Oh, Come on, Jordan. You are really taking your time. We need some butter over here. We need something to, uh, to get it down, to wash it down. Jordan, you're a bit milk, slow. Perhaps. <laughs> we are down to 30 seconds I'm now, guys. Win. You have got 30 seconds. Deanna, you are absolutely racing here. Jordan, you got to pick up the act, man. You're going to be banana on toast before we know it. Oh, And uh, Lil, no, well, no. Lil's coming in pretty close. 15 seconds left to go now. This is crunch time. If you don't finish hard, 10 seconds. Come on, bring it home. This is it. Five, four, three, two, no! one. <laughs> that is it. It oh. is impossible, at least to these three guys, to eat a slice of bread in under a minute. Now it is over to you guys. We want to see if you can do just that. Send us a video of yourself uh, doing just that. And then what do we need to do, Lil? Send us the videos in the links below. And remember that if you win, you get a free pizza delivered right to your door. That is motivation right there. Free pizza coming to your door. Come on now, that's fantastic. Hey, that is a wrap for this week. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us for BYO. We will be back 7 p.m. next Friday night. Big, big thanks to our co-hosts, Lily, Deanna, and Mr. Banana Man himself, Jordan. Guys, before we go, remind us what we need to do if we haven't done it already. Subscribe down below. Send us your videos. And thanks for joining us. And remember, telling someone to be quiet makes you a hypocrite. Embrace the weekend, people. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>